All right, okay, so welcome back to the last part of this happened. I hope you had a good month. Mine's been all right, except for um, something happened. And uh, for this segment of the video, at least, there will be no epic funnies to speak of. And I have a feeling a fair few of you may know what the main topic of today's video is, just from the title. And it's, of course, about the FTC and YouTube. Now, if you don't know what's been going on, let's just start from the beginning. How a lot of YouTube and most websites advertising works is they use your search history and uh, other, other things to target and tailor ads to you, so you're more likely to click on them. And for years, you should have been gathering this information um, on kids, which is illegal. And the FTC caught on and uh, it gave YouTube a, a pretty hefty fine, as well as making YouTube impose these new rules on creators, which I'm going to talk about. Now, this isn't the first time something like this has happened. Like For years, they turned a blind eye to that Elsagate type videos, and then there was that situation with the uh, dodgy comments. But this time, it could actually have serious implications for all of us on the site. Like Even if you're not a creator and you're just a viewer, this could impact what you're watching on the site. So anyway, this act is called COPPA, or Children's Online Privacy Protection Act. And it's a it's a big legal law thing. Uh, I'm, I, haven't, I haven't read the full thing. But one of the bits of it basically says that you can't collect data on children for reasons like it's generally considered wrong to do so, since kids are more impressionable than adults to advertisements, which sounds fair enough. But um, this act that they're putting through is so broad and outdated, it's mental. But I'll go into that in a bit. So in the end, as I mentioned, YouTube got fined a lot of money, like 100 million something dollars. And all creators now need to disclose before January 1st, 2020 if their content is targeted towards kids. Sounds simple enough. Now what happens when you say, yes, my content is for kids? Well, a number of things happens. Uh, apparently your ad revenue drops by up to 90%, which will undoubtedly put a lot of channels out of business. And there'll also be a number of other sanctions that go along with that, apparently. Like, your video won't be put in recommended, which is where most YouTubers get most of their views from. And if you say, no, my channel's not targeted at kids, I don't make content for kids. But the FTC look at you and go, yeah, you do. You can face a fine of up to 42k per video. Per video. Per video. But the issue is how, like, vague their description of what kids' content is. Like, in the document or whatever, they've got a section about subject matter, and I'm just gonna read this out to you. Subject matter that is appealing to children, e.g. kids' jokes, music, kids' games, video slash computer games, children, TV shows or stars, cartoon characters, sports stories, toys, children's books, fancy children's arts and crafts, pets, products primarily purchased or consumed by kids like snack food or cereal. Now, that is, um, incredibly vague, and a lot of them apply to most channels, like music. What? <laughs> and there's other ones like video slash computer games and cartoon characters. Like if we take that, a lot of my videos in FTC's opinion here would be considered appealing to children. Like let's say for example, my uh, videos where I went around and just messed around on kids games. Like if you know my channel and you watch them videos, you'd obviously know that I, I was playing them for jokes. It was satirical. It was not meant for or targeted at children. And then they got another bit underneath it about presentation, which is even worse than the subject matter bit. Like, Let's just have a look at this. Language of the website, such as language that is simple enough to be understandable to children 12 and under. Like that part alone, what, what does that even mean? Am I just supposed to whip out my thesaurus and construct sentences out of the longest words possible so children can't understand them? Short, colourful descriptions, slang and pop culture phrases. E.g. a kid's site may be identified by language such as kids only, fun, Free stuff. What's it? What? Is the person who wrote this from the Stone Age? Cool. Dark. <laughs> this is. Oh my god. Dark. Games. Ask your parents, etc. Whether the website uses visual content appealing to children, animated colors, bold or fast moving graphics, and bright and vibrant colors. That's that's almost every YouTube channel. Like, And it's not because we're trying to attract children to our channel. It's because we need to stand out. Like, It's scary how the people writing up these laws seem to not really understand internet culture whatsoever. <laughs> like if you say the words games, whatever, or free stuff, you could be identified as a kid's channel. Also, not allowed to say cool anymore, guys. When describing things as cool now, we must use words like um, marvelous or uh, a dandy. <laughs> now, there are a lot of people that are in danger with these uh, laws. Like, for example, uh, gaming channels, makeup channels, arts and crafts channels, they're all in danger, even though they may not specifically be targeted at children. They could be considered as, like, appealing to children, which is mental. Now, I think I'm probably... I'm hopefully safe 
Maybe because uh, my content is obviously not seen as for children. Like, let's, let's have a look at some of my most recent videos. Insane YouTuber makes cheating tutorial. Um, irritating YouTuber makes diss track on me. But then again, there are some videos I've done like I paid the annoying orange $35 to say this. That can be seen as targeted at kids, which if you watch the video, you know it obviously isn't. Like in the video, we paid a porn star to say stuff for us. Hey James, it's your friend, Johnny Sins. I just want to congratulate you on getting pregnant with your future child, Vicstar Bazinga. <laughs> <laughs> and, I'm, and I wasn't using the annoying orange to like luring kids to the video. It, it's, it's a meme, all right? It's, it's a meme on my channel. So look at it now. Um, I hope I'm not going to get in trouble, but um, I, I don't know. I don't know. These laws seem very vague and uh, quite dangerous. But if we look at my second channel where there's a lot more like uh, gaming related stuff, I've done videos on uh, games like Planet Zoo and Planet Coaster, which are games that people of all ages can enjoy. And again, you'll know if you watch these videos, they're not targeted at kids. Like in the Planet Zoo videos, we basically put animals to fight against each other. You know, it's, it's obviously not kids content, but these guidelines are so vague it, it could be seen as such But I guess if I'm wrong, I'm getting a, a $42,000 fine per video, which is uh, fantastic Now there's a change to all petition I, I don't know how much it's gonna do because I, I, I don't think I've ever seen a change to all petition change anything But I'll leave a link to that in the description go sign it But I think the guy who made it is now going to talk to the FTC about this so uh, that's a step in the right direction I guess so what's the future of YouTube um, if if there is one. Who knows? So, like, on one side, we've got a uh, demonetization where we can't be too edgy, otherwise we'll lose our ads. And on the other side, we can't be too kids-friendly, otherwise uh, we'll get a $42,000 fine. So now we've got this weird middle ground where nobody really knows what the line between either is. But it's only when I've properly looked into this for this video that I, I realise no one is really safe, and that is quite terrifying. I mean, I, I don't think they're going to go around and just fine every single person 42 grand, or uh, at least I hope they won't. But they've Written these rules up so vaguely, it's hard not to imagine that as a worst case scenario. Okay, so moving on from that to a big funny, uh, Queen's dead. She, she's not, she's not for the record. See, this channel isn't for children. <laughs> please don't find me. But also, uh, please don't demonetize me. Uh, it was a joke. I was joking. I, it would not be funny if the Queen died. But a rumor circulated on Twitter last night or the night before last, depending on when this video goes out, basically saying the Queen's dead. I've no idea how they managed to pull this off. Um, the way they managed to pull this off was through a WhatsApp group chat that contains the likes of Burnsy, Cheeks, Gibbo, Josh, Morty. But the main perpetrator in this group is uh, Gibbo. Because he posted a message in the group chat saying, Queen's passed away this morning, heart attack, being announced 9.30am tomorrow, and then some other stuff. And he said it was from a guard's WhatsApp group. And for some reason, Everyone believed a man called Gibbo in a WhatsApp chat. And it wasn't even just like a few hundred people. It was hundreds of thousands of people were tweeting about this. And this was so big that the word Gibbo was number two trending along with Ricey, Burnsy, and Cheeks. Like, Gibbo's got a knock at his door coming soon. Like, imagine if she had actually kicked it and the way it got revealed to the world was via Gibbo of the old times WhatsApp group chat. Uh, but anyway, on to our final topic of today's video. Uh, it it's been a bit of a... Been a bit of a dead month. I'm not gonna lie. The only other thing other than what I'm about to talk about that actually happened this month was the fight. And what well, what can I realistically say about that? Like, oh, whoa, uh, JJ won. So the final topic of today's video is Uber because uh, it's been banned in London and I don't really understand why. I mean, they're saying it's because there was a, a lot of people faking their accounts on Uber to be drivers, which is obviously pretty unsafe. But let's look at the alternative. Black cabs are pretty pretty hard to flag down in London. Like, there's there's not really that many of them. So instead of, like, sitting in a restaurant uh, or something, for example, and ordering your cab on your phone, you have to go out into the streets of London probably at night and just roam the streets until you find a black cab that actually wants to pull over for you. That sounds uh, just, a, just a little bit more dangerous than Uber. But don't get me wrong, I've had some Uber drivers that have probably tried to kill me at some point. Like, they're doing... In donuts round the roundabout. Well, maybe, maybe not that dramatic, but y you know what I mean. But still, uh, <laughs> please don't ban Uber. I don't want to have to pay 30 quid to travel down the road. Okay, so anyway, guys, that's the end of today's video. I hope you did enjoy. Uh, I've just realized that uh, through this whole video, I I've literally just been speaking for nine minutes straight. So, uh, well done. If you managed to listen to my voice for nine minutes, I, I, I wouldn't have been able to do it myself. So, as a reward, and uh, also uh, the fact that I can't find enough things to talk for 10 minutes about, I'm going to leave you with a message and some beautiful melodies. <laughs> Check this fucking line!